Milling is the most fun way to win a game of Lorcana, but it's also one of the most tricky win conditions to pull off. Today we're playing an Emerald Steel Mill deck by Grandmaster Zepha himself. This deck utilizes a lot of songs to help us drain our opponent's deck. 19 songs, in fact. I like to think the decks I bring you guys are the starting point to building your own great decks. I get lots of wonderful comments asking about why certain cards are or are not played in my decks, and the answer is always the same. So you can try those cards for yourselves and make the decks your own. And today with Zepha's deck is my chance to do the same. I will play this deck as built by Zepha today, but over the coming days and weeks, I will be tweaking and refining this deck to my liking. And my personal goal will be to reach the rank of Grandmaster myself. It's something I'm confident I can do, but I've been incredibly lazy about it and have almost no interest in playing the same deck a thousand times. So I've avoided it, but not anymore. My goal today is to learn this deck with what will likely be some real Really clunky games, but each week I'll return to this deck, discuss the changes I've made, and see how my progress is coming along. So sit back, relax, and enjoy watching me suffer through some ranked for a bit. Ruby Amethyst. Is this all we're gonna see? Is Ruby Amethyst? Maybe. Oh, there we go. Captain Hook into a Shmee! Into a Tinkerbell. Can I get a big tank? to go with this whole new world and the little tank. Uh, no, I can't. Of course I can't. That was so silly of me to think that that was a possibility. All right, let's drop you off at the pool. Let's get a Captain Hook. I anticipate we're going to be seeing the teeth and ambitions here. Yeah, they're questing, so snake. No teeth, at least. That's fine. All right. How do you feel about Mr. Shmee? Oh, that's just my favorite word to say in this game right now. Mr. Shmee! Okay, what do we got going on now? There's the teeth. That'll get rid of the Captain Hook. That's fine. I, I mean, I'm just open to do this now. I'm gonna try for this. You know what? I'm gonna offer the trade. I'm gonna offer the trade because I anticipate they want to quest and play Fox. And I don't think Fox wants to attack a Mr. Shmee. And if they do want the trade, then I get it off the board. Now they have nothing to bounce, so we're not worried about a Fox. Just a lowly old rabbit. The only downside with the rabbit is I'm gonna let them draw two cards as well. <laughs> You know, it's funny. I think I don't like... I don't like these do it agains in the deck because half of the actions I want to play are going to be with Ursula and Ursula puts them back in the deck. <laughs> so a little bit of a non-bow with them. That's a lot of Ursulas. I mean, just looking at my hand, I ink Ursula and I'll play a whole new world. I'd rather sing it. Okay, not super threatening if I'm being honest. A whole new world! Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and quest. Really got nothing else going on. Get back my whole new world and do it again. I am winning the mill race. I should though, it's a slightly thicker deck than normal. I wish you were a song. Alright, this is largely a setup turn. Let's see what the opponent's got. 
I kind of like them having that actually. Oh well. All right. So far so good. They got a lot of options in their hand to get rid of stuff. I mean, their hand was predominantly removal. <laughs> Okay, not super fussed about Ursula. Like, winning by lore is great. Winning by mill is the best. Okay, how do I want to play this? This is going to cost me three. Takes me down to four. Not really a lot, is it? Make my opponent replay their Ursula. Yeah, let's make my opponent replay their Ursula. Should I sing this? Yeah. 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 Shift you out. Don't forget to ink. Sing it with beast. Down to 28. Let's go ahead and sing this. Looking for more ways to get whole new worlds. The opponent could just have a board wipe, so maybe I don't just play Captain Hook out. Alright, there's still... Yeah, there's the board wipe. Not super concerned about it. Which is kind of weird, but yeah, just not very concerned about it. Let's start here. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Let's get rid of... I got too many Robin Hoods. That's what I got. I got too many Robin Hoods. Two lovely shift targets. And I should probably keep the removal, huh? Make sure to ink. Pass the turn. All right, halfway through my deck. 34 is half. And I've only seen one whole new world. But there's two do it agains and two Lady Tremaine's gone. That is, that means there's one more Lady Tremaine. One more, do it again. All right, it's time to just start drawing the whole new worlds. Huh? What do you think? Let's see, I can afford to pay for one. All right, no matter how it shakes out, I'm not going to be able to draw another one and play it. So, Robin Hood takes out Merlin, but this lets me draw a card. Hmm, lots of options. Let's draw the card. Plus, to make my opponent draw a card. Thins their deck even more. I'm sure my opponent just strictly has targeted removal, but when it dies, I get to draw a card. And that's what it's all about. These are largely useless, aren't they? <laughs> I need to kind of go wide for those. Like I said, when Robin Hood's gone, I get to draw a card. Now he has to attack, right? Yeah. Even with this, you still have to attack. Mm, Swords is okay. It gets rid of Maui. It's not really a problem, though. 
There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Be sure to ink. Run us down to 22. Let's just go for it. Oh. Didn't find another one. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in there here. That's a lot of Tinkerbell. Oh, I kind of want them to have those. <laughs> let's not take any. Oh, let's see. Let's get rid of a Tinkerbell. I got a little too many of those. Fast turn. Bonus down to 14. And they're on one, one lore. I was going to say one ink, but that's not right. <laughs> yes. My lore count means nothing in this matchup, which is fantastic to be able to say. Yeah, go ahead. Juice up your characters. They're just going wide. That's all they're working on right here. They do quest for four. All right. I need to figure out ways to squeeze out more card draw. One way is with the Robin Hood, because obviously Robin Hood. And... Let's get a Tink down. Alright, fast turn. I'll probably take out the tank. Yep. It's Robin Hood who I want to actually perish, funny enough. Alright, board's not looking too outlandish. They're gonna give something evasive so I can't attack it. Probably the Ursula's gonna gain the evasive. I have several cards I can get to be able to work on this mill plan. This is my last swords. There's only two in this particular deck. Oh, Kit bounces the Ursula. That's not bad. Let's see. How do I want to do this? All right, let's bounce the Ursula. I mean, obviously, I want to play Beastie for the card draw. But being able to take out two of the characters is also really good. Plus, Cusco, it's a May ability, so they don't have to draw, but they probably will, because most of your opponents are going to be pretty greedy. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need you anymore. I can only play one or the other. I think we're going to go Beastie. And I'm definitely questing with Robin Hood. I want to invite as much ability for me to draw cards. There goes Beast. Madame Medusa's Beast, Beast Hunter. Just weird, but that's the way it is. <laughs> and they don't want me drawing another, drawing my way. Oh, they played Maui. Yeah, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Get a card draw here. Yes, I will draw another card. Let it be your demise. That's not it. <laughs> That's not the card. All right, for reference, I will be playing this deck a lot off camera. I will do my best to continue to play other fun decks. But... For my daily uploads, that is. But I will be playing a lot of... Other things. And I'll be playing a ton of this on my downtime. We'll see if I can't get myself to a Grandmaster position.
All right, so far so good. I was down to nine cards. I have a feeling we're going to win this game. I have a feeling. All it, I have several outs and I just have to draw one of them and it's just a cascading effect to victory. Well, not quite, but almost. This will take out the Madame Medusa. When you play this character, gains reckless. Okay. Play them both. I'll take out the Medusa and then I'll give the Yzma reckless so it can't quest. I'll give the Ursula reckless. Yes, keep drawing cards, opponent. Keep doing it. And I think they still have two friends on the other side in their hand. It's two in the grave. I mean, they could be inking them. Maybe I'm not paying attention. That's, that's I'm just not paying attention. Let's get those down. Let's make you reckless. And then I just got to keep all my cards. So I guess we'll play the fox. I wanted to get the beast down, but I got to keep their border under control. I can't let them just race to victory while I'm waiting to draw one of like 14 cards. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? We're just like, hey, I'm this close to winning. I just have to draw one of many different cards in my deck. And then it takes you six, seven turns to draw one of those cards. Ursula's pretty much stuck in that position. Opponent's going wide. Ugh, gross. And I don't really have a way of drawing any more, do I? So they're only on plus eight, so they're not on victory yet. And I could definitely take a thing out. I can do five, six points of damage to the Ursula. That's not enough. Hmm. Ursula's the one I'd want to be gone too. I can get rid of the Yzma. It does slow him down. They just have a bunch of stuff to attack the Ursula when it eventually quests. And now because of the fish or the fish hook. That evasive. Oh, don't you do this to me. Don't you make it so uh, there's so many outs in my entire deck and you don't give them to me the entire game. Like I'm looking, I'm looking at all the stuff. I have lots of outs still, like. Yeah, a lot of cards are gone, but a lot of cards I still need are still in the deck. There's only 13 cards left. Uh, I hate to do it, but I think I have to get rid of the, the, the Yzma. Even though I'm so close to just nuking that Ursula. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what happens after the fact, so I think I just have to do it. And I got enough damage on board to take out the Ursula, but will I have enough to take out the rest of the minions? I'm not sure. I'm not going to win by... I'm not going to win by questing. I mean, likely anyway. <laughs> See, I would have been at 10 going to 17. Yeah, so I'd just be playing catch up and in a losing position. I have tons of outs. You guys are wondering, I got... Uh, I have Do It Again still in the deck. I have Lady Tremaine still in the deck. Both of those grab a whole new world. There's three whole new worlds still in the deck. That's five cards right there that get this. Uh, strike a good match. I think I still have one left in the deck. That's another two card filter. So that's three cards off of the deck. Like there's lots of cards that just race into this. Put us down to four cards, too. Like any one of those, and the game's over. Opponents are down to three cards in their deck. It all comes down to what can I draw. Dang. Well, I still have a chance. The Ursula is the problem here, right? I can do two, four, five damage to it. It's so close. I can bounce it. I can bounce the Ursula. Can I take care of the rest of the board? This costs six. It still leaves me enough. So let's actually start with this.
Mother knows best is a bounce. It's not the card I'm looking for. It does keep me alive. Bouncing the Merlins is huge though. But I don't want to bounce the Merlins, do I? Do I have to? No, I can't bounce the Merlins. Let's get rid of that. And then... I could take out two characters with Tink and Robin Hood. Yeah, okay, I'm pretty much just wiping out the board here. Do the damage there. Robin Hood this. Got to probably move a little faster before my timer starts going off. When it draws a card. It's still a May ability, I think. Yeah, it's a May ability. They don't have to draw. But they choose to anyway. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. I'm only on a plus eight. So I'm still not winning. All right, opponent's down to one card left in their deck. Like I said, five cards are still in my deck. I still have a 50-50 on this. This is absolutely nuts. And goat victory. Wow. So silly. All right, Sapphire Amethyst. Going first, perfect. I need some practice with this particular deck. So <laughs> here it is, the practice round. I immediately don't like what I see, but I will keep the Tinkerbells. Uh, I also got a two drop. All right, let's keep the little Ursula. I'll keep the two drops. They're bound to have some songs in those colors. That's way too much Tinkerbell. Holy smokes. No amount of practice will prepare you for a bad opening hand. All right. Maleficent. Into Maleficent. That's perfect for Big Tink to take care of. Uh, mm, you're not a song that's important to this character, so we're going to go ahead and ink you. Let's see what's going on in that hand. Is it hyper aggro? Uh, no, not really. It's gonna be Mickey broomsticks with some other support, it looks like. Interesting. Okay. Not what I had in mind when I saw these colors, but all right, let's see what it can do. That was what they drew. This is where you have to name the top card of your deck. All right, I think I'm comfortable with just attacking this character. Oh boy. How many Tinkerbells do I want to keep? All of them? Maybe. This is tough, because this is actually a good song. Yeah, the Tinkerbells are too expensive. I got a Robin Hood in hand. I'll work my way towards that. Big Tink, followed by Robin Hood, and then I got some restock and some control. Mickey Mouse into some ramp. Yeah, I don't need this many of these guys. Thank you. Let's get the Big Tink down. I'll go ahead and quest, and while we're at it, let's just go ahead and sing this song. Oh boy, swords, not terrible. Won't be good enough to take down the big Mickey though. Right, let's get rid of that. We'll be able to try again next turn. Besides, I got the mother who knows best. That'll go ahead and bounce the Mickey Mouse. Not this Mickey Mouse. The Sorcerer. I'm guessing they have Ursula's Cauldron in the deck if they're running the Sorcerer's Hat. Mm, 
Named Magic Broom. Womp womp wow. <laughs> That's fair. I'm sure there's probably 20 Magic Brooms in the deck. A very unexpected move. They're going to let me get free damage on Mickey Mouse here. Hmm. Well, let's start here. Hmm. Not bad if I get into the... But I have to play the whole new world first, so... It doesn't actually do what I want it to do. Beast or Robin Hood? Beast or Robin Hood? Probably Beast. Let's get the damage on. Let's take out a Mickey Mouse. Let's do some damage to a Mickey Mouse. Let's see what the opponent wants to do with that information. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that. Instead, we just bounce the Mickey Mouse. Still not sure that I like that we did that. Magic Broom! You gonna get it? You're gonna miss it. I didn't think so. Turn in action. What do I got? I have a swords. Is this itself a song? No, I have to pay for this. Then I could sing the swords. Mm, not my favorite. Perhaps I'm just going to hit the Mickey Mouse here. Hit the Mickey Mouse. Bounce the broom. Quest, 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 quest. Maybe. I think so. Alright, we're just going to pay for this. Am I that scared of the broom, though? Honestly, no. Well played from the opponent. We're going to get the concede. I'm, I'm just not that scared of the broom. I'll save the nose best for something actually scary. Well, I got the well played from the opponent, but they're still playing. Usually when you say well played, that's a concession move. Well, not the way this deck's meant to go off, but it is interesting to play it in ways that it's not meant to be played. Just to kind of see what it can do. Where were you, young man? Well, let's go ahead and do some digging. All right, what am I thinking? Mm, there's really nothing going on with this. I'm not really scared of that. Let's just ink and play another beast. At this point, the card draw is nice, but it's not necessary. So we're going to start using the beast. Yep, attack the beast. Get the point of damage on it. And then let me guess. You got a... Uh, Removal for the other beast. <laughs> Which magic room are you? Are you get the whole deck back? I was curious. We have a sorcerer. Okay. Well, they do have a sorcerer. So they're gonna present, prevent something from untapping. Right. Can't start. Yeah, can't wait to start of the next turn. One of these two has been hit with no one tappy. I'm guessing it's Tinkerbell. Because of the way it likes to share damage. A lot of card draw. I like to put the Maleficent back to hand. That's nice. In fact, we could practically bounce their entire board. Well, let's do it this way. If I have to, I'll slow roll it. Put the Maleficent back in hand. 
Like I said, we don't really need the guard draw anymore, especially with an Ursula and a Mother Knows Best setup. We're just gonna undo their entire board now. Alright, I'm getting an idea of what we're supposed to be looking for. Now they can't damage the beasts, because the beasts automatically just destroy the tower. <laughs> I don't know, opponent. I feel like you are... ...doing things you shouldn't be doing in this position. Man, they've missed on every single sorcerer's hat. Really gotta have like a Nurseless Cauldron or who else look, lets you look at the top? There's lots of cards that let you look at the top. Well played from the opponent. What do I got? I just have enough to win. Yep. Alright. Cool. 